Yeah, and uh, last week we talked about the 1983 beginnings of the team that we now know as the Las Vegas 51s. But before you can have a professional team, you need a place to play. This is just the start of the job of constructing a multi-million dollar sports and convention center on the old Cashman Field site. The future was a minor league franchise. It was also the past. It's been 10 years since there was any type of sports activity at Cashman Field, even longer since baseball was played here. The original Cashman Field dated back to 1948 when it was constructed as Elks Stadium and later named after businessman and donor James Cashman. It was used each spring for a held rod rodeo, but that was a secondary motivator. Based Baseball, which was uh, Big Jim's uh, love. Marv Einerwald had played for the Las Vegas Wranglers in the 50s and recalled the experience for News 3 in 1983. Locals could see major talent, not just on Big League Weekend. At major League Ball Club sent us prospects for the summer to see how they acted away from home and how they acted around Las Vegas and the environment and everything. So we had some real decent ball clubs. The original Cashman Field was rows of concrete bleachers up and down what today is the slope from the parking lot to the stadium. Well, it was uh, it was good baseball. It wasn't uh, junk, and I think if you could talk to some of the old fans that used to come out and watch, they'd tell you the same thing. The Wranglers folded in 58. Later in the 60s, the Las Vegas Colts played at Cashman. For a year, it was home to Las Vegas Cowboys football. Then everything deteriorated for a decade before becoming the facility we know today in spring of 1983. 13,878 sun-drenched fans showed up at beautiful new Cashman Field for the return of professional baseball to Las Vegas. Of course, our AAA franchise moves to a new stadium to the west next year. Cashman Field is now home to the inaugural season of the Las Vegas Lights of the United Soccer League. Wrangler player Marv Einerwald passed away in 2012.